Hey there, and welcome to another episode of Sermon q and I'm Vicki Basinger, and I'm sitting here with Pastor Michael and Pastor Alex, and we're talking through some questions from the sermon series on the tabernacle from August 1st, 2021. And today, Michael, I'm going to start with you. Will we see the Father or the Spirit on the new earth? So if you're, if you're jumping into this and you're like, what's the new earth, right? So <laughs> when we celebrate Easter, we celebrate the resurrection and mm-hmm. there at the end of time, there will be, uh, the Bible says a new heaven, new earth. That actually just means new skies. Like mm-hmm. that's called the heavens mm-hmm. also. So all of creation will be renewed. We'll get new bodies. Mm-hmm. And that's kind of the forever place. So mm-hmm. you don't go to heaven forever. You land on the new, on the new earth. And so will we see the father or the spirit? It's interesting that they didn't include the son in the question because mm-hmm. We know the son is the physical manifestation right. of God. Mm-hmm. He is the yes. physical image of, of God. Mm-hmm. So yes, you'll definitely see Jesus. Right. Uh, you saw him on earth. In fact, in the Old Testament, whenever God takes form or God takes flesh, um, it is Jesus. Mm-hmm. And we So it's called the angel of the Lord. Mm-hmm. And so, but what about the new earth? So, all right, Alex, is there ever a circumstance? I'm going to put you on the spot. Okay. Ready? Okay. I'm all ready. Right. I'm confident ready. you're going to be able to have a quick answer to this. Okay. Me too. Is there ever an example of the Holy Spirit being physically seen in the Bible. Yes. Okay. So uh, the first one, uh, yes. All right. The first one for sure is at Jesus's baptism. Mm -hmm. So uh, God tells John the Baptist that uh, when you see Jesus, you'll actually see the spirit of God descending like a dove Mm -hmm. and landing on him. So John sees this thing. Apparently nobody else can see it, but John is able to see some sort of, call it a physical manifestation of God, the Holy Spirit there with Jesus. So that's one. And then uh, another instance <clears throat> is uh, the Transfiguration. Was that one? The trans- Acts 2, Pentecost, uh, Pentecost, fire. yeah. So, so okay. So in, in Acts chapter 2, Pentecost, uh, and they, yeah. the, the words that are used, the Holy Spirit comes and like uh, lands on each individual, right? And it, it looks like tongues of fire. And yep. everybody can see this. Everybody who's looking around uh, sees this physical manifestation. So yep. it's really interesting. So, so here's what I find intriguing. So the Father is spirit. The Son is not spirit. Right. The Spirit is it's spirit. spirit. <laughs> Angels are spirit. We have a spirit, right? right. So there is this uh, dimension, this realm that is a spirit realm yes. that is very different than the physical realm. And uh, God is manifest in both realms, fully mm-hmm. God, etc. Mm-hmm. So in also when you think about angels, angels are able to do a couple things. They're spirit. They're able to be somehow seen. They're able to be processed. Mm-hmm. They're seems to be somehow in the spiritual realm, spiritual eyes, the ability to see things in that right. realm when you're in that realm. And mm. what I think is really profound about the new earth is that the new earth is the convergence of heaven and earth. It's the mm-hmm. convergence of the spiritual and physical in the most tangible way. Mm-hmm. So somehow we're given uh, not just physical eyes to see, but spiritual eyes to see. Right. Yeah. And I don't know what it will look like. I don't know how it will manifest. Mm-hmm. Um, I know that right now we cannot see the Father or the Spirit. Mm-hmm. Um, I know that there have been manifestations, but that's not a normal thing for us now. Right. But my gut tells me that when we get to the new earth, we're going to walk with Jesus. God will be physical, mani- mm-hmm. physically manifest mm-hmm. in Jesus. But there will be somehow the ability to um, communicate with and to observe. And mm-hmm. now, is the spirit a mist? Does this, can the spirit manifest itself as anything at once? Right. Uh-huh. Um, I, I have no idea. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to begin to surmise on that. Right. But I do know that they are spirit. Uh, but they're also a different kind of spirit. Here's what I say: that they're eternal. Angels are mm-hmm. temporal. We are mm-hmm. temporary. Mm-hmm. Yep. But it seems that when we are made in the image of God, part of that is the spiritual side of us. So it would seem really logical that we would have some kind of line of sight to them. Well, and what's interesting too, like in the book of Revelation, which Revelation is kind of like this peeling back of reality so that you can see what is, when John is in the throne room and when he sees pictures in heaven and sees these visions, uh, he's primarily seeing Jesus. Mm-hmm. Like Jesus is the the primary figure that he sees. Uh, and we don't uh, we don't really hear stories about him seeing the, fo- we hear voices talking yep. and that mm-hmm. kind of stuff, but what he sees is Jesus. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, and, and I, <laughs> I wonder, so, so much of that mm-hmm. is a glimpse into not the new earth, Right. Like you don't, when like you, what's going on, it's a glimpse into like, right. what's the, the heavenly, the heavenly reality right, right now. Yeah, and right. So I, I mean, I wish I knew, I just know that it, everything's going to be shocking. It's going to be mind numbing, mind blowing. And we will know the spirit. We will know the spirit when we see the spirit or when mm. we're near the spirit. Yeah. Um, and 
I, again, there are so many sub questions going through my brain right now. What does gonna, it look like? How does that... <laughs> I'm going to stop. <laughs> Otherwise, I waste everyone's time. Right. But uh, I think uh, you will. But here's another kind of conundrum here. The the father is lifting high the name of Jesus. The mm. spirit is his objective is to make much of Jesus. Yeah. There is something about the centrality of Jesus mm. on mm. the new earth. Mm. Mm. So there's a this could be like a whole nother question, but mm -hmm. you remember like uh I mean Alex, you may kind of live this world like in, in the two thousands, early two thousands, like mm -hmm. two thousand three, four, five, six, yes. this like Jesus centered and then gospel centered and then God centered, all yeah. these centered yes. ideologies sort of like right. philosophy started making their way in. And, and so there's a group of people, particularly like in reformed Presbyterian conservative circles mm -hmm. who would say, why are you Jesus centered? We are God centered. And there's an interesting approach to this because there is, you're not saved by the name of the father or the spirit. You're saved mm -hmm. by the right. name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Right. And the father is elevating the right. son as the king of kings. Right. And Lord he's of handing Lords. authority over mm -hmm. to him, lifting him Correct. up. Yeah. And the spirit is making much, much of, of Jesus, Jesus. Yep. and draws us to Jesus. Mm -hmm. And so we, we often probably emphasize as evangelicals, Jesus more than the father, because that seems to be the Trinitarian paradigm. And um, just the flow of the New Testament. Like absolutely. That's just what seems what happens. So it's, it strikes me on the new earth that there will be a centrality of Jesus. Mm -hmm. I, if I'm wrong, happy to be wrong. Sure. Right. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. There'll be a centrality of God. Okay. okay. Sure. It just seems to be an emphasis. In Particularly yes. on Jesus. Mm -hmm. On yeah. Jesus. So, I mean, you wrote down a little reference here and I just want to read it. So Revelation 22, 4, it does refer to those in New Jerusalem who will see God's face. Yep. Again, and what, God is the Father yeah, in right. the New Testament. Yes, God yeah. refers to the Father. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. yeah. So that's that's significant. What does that mean? Again, like yeah. we can only surmise. Can but. he change his face? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so many questions, yes. as usual. Well, yep. thank you, guys. <laughs> thank you guys for helping us process through that one. We have so many more to come on sermon Q and A. Go to villagechurchdigital.org to see this one and more. We'll see you next time. <laughs>